Let's move on to the soft pedal. The soft pedal is unique too in itself. It does make things softer by shifting either the keys or the hammers inside the piano so that it's only hitting two strings usually. In the old days it was one string, hence the name una corda. Now I use the soft pedal in two ways. One, I use it to make something soft even softer. Like if I see a triple pianissimo or a quadruple pianissimo in a piece, I know it's just screaming for me to use the soft pedal. I can play really quietly with my fingers, but never as soft as it would be with the una corda pedal on. I also like to create a nice warm fuzzy tone sometimes, and so the soft pedal allows for that type of soundscape. So one of the pieces that I can really show soft pedal very quickly is using the Nocturne in C-sharp minor by Chopin. So we've got the opening. And you can tell right away that one was louder than the other. I'll do it again. The first phrase has regular sustain pedal. I'm using two pedals right now. And then the second one has not only the sustain pedal, but the una corda. That's because I want to make it a really big contrast. Could I make the piano with my hands? Yeah, I could play a lot less. Um, but the soft pedal also gives a little bit of fuzzy warmth to the sound, which you don't get when you're just playing with your hands by themselves. I'll do it without the soft pedal once. difference but you can tell I'm not using that fuzzy warm soft pedal. The other place in this piece is in the middle section where it becomes a little more reminiscent, a little more major all of a sudden in this very minor nocturne. We have, um, let's see if I can find that spot. you need to know kind of what comes before it to really hear the color change. So there's a bit of a storminess to the section just before this beautiful major moment happens. And let's see. technique comes is being able to slip the soft pedal off without the audience knowing it, how to get rid of it again. And of course that means playing extremely soft with your hands so that we don't, can't really tell where it comes off. You might have an inkling if you're really good at listening and you're a teacher, of course, but the audience doesn't really know where we slipped that soft pedal off. 
I'll play the whole section now and see if you can hear when it goes on and hear when it goes off. demonstrates the soft pedal really well is one that I've already used to demonstrate some techniques is Limpid Stream by Bern Mueller. So this is really the beginning of una corda. It's a great piece to introduce una corda because it really just goes on and it kind of stays on and for a whole page and then it comes off for a whole page. So they learned that the soft pedal really doesn't have gradations. It has to be on or off. Whereas the legato pedal, or the sustain pedal, can have half pedal, quarter pedal, different layers of pedal. I tried to think, okay, I need to stay within the realm of pianissimo or piano through the whole thing. Um, and then, of course, the middle part comes and it goes to the tray quarter, which means to take the pedal off. <laughs> 